As we journey through our solar system, we come to the seventh planet from the Sun, Uranus. Named after the ancient Greek god of the sky, Uranus is a unique and fascinating planet, without a true surface, and mostly swirling fluids. With 27 moons orbiting around its equator rather than its poles, is also the coldest planet in our solar system, with temperatures that can plunge to nearly minus 224 degrees Celsius. This extreme cold is due in part to Uranus' distance from the Sun, as well as its composition, which is mostly composed of hydrogen, helium, and methane. And it's methane that gives the planet its distinctive blue-green color. But we know all that. What we did not know is that there might be hidden oceans around Uranus, and we are picking up strange signals. Orbit Beyond the Blue when, for the first time, humans send their artifacts and themselves off the Earth and explore their local neighborhood in space. It's our great privilege to be alive at that first moment when ignorance is converted into knowledge. And speaking personally, it's an extraordinary experience to have participated in that preliminary reconnaissance. In 1977, NASA launched two space probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, on a mission to explore the outer reaches of our solar system. These spacecraft were designed to study the giant planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, as well as their moons and magnetic fields. Voyager 2 was launched 16 days before its twin Voyager 1, from Cape Canaveral on August 20, 1977. It followed a trajectory that would take it past Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and eventually out of our solar system and into interstellar space. Flying past the giant planets, the spacecraft captured some mesmerizing images that put things into perspective. How petty is our arrogance, our ego, our pride? In January 1986, Voyager 2 became the first spacecraft to visit Uranus. Its observations of the planet's atmosphere and magnetic field led to many new discoveries. And one of them is a strange signal that hints at something extraordinary and baffles scientists today. There might be some hidden oceans lurking around Uranus. New evidence suggests that one or two of the gas giant's 27 known moons might be harboring liquid oceans beneath their crusty rock and ice exteriors. The possible culprits for seeding the space around Uranus with plasma are Miranda and Ariel, one or both of which might be erupting with ocean plumes. The data, which came from the Voyager 2 mission, that flew past the planet on its way to outer space nearly 40 years ago, making it the only spacecraft ever to have done so, makes an excellent case for sending another probe to Uranus. When Voyager 2 conducted its flyby of Uranus back in 1986, its low-energy charged particle instrument picked up something peculiar, charged particles that appeared to be trapped in specific regions of the Uranian magnetosphere. They should have spread out, but they remained confined to the equator, close to the orbits of Miranda and Ariel. At the time, scientists believed that the peculiar profile was indicative of an injection of energetic electrons. But on a closer look, Cohen and his colleagues found that the electrons don't exhibit the characteristics expected of a substorm injection. This opened up a huge can of worms, because now the scientists were back to square one trying to understand where the electrons came from. In order to maintain the pitch angle observed by Voyager 2, a constant source of electrons would be required, significant enough to overcome the scattering and loss that would occur due to plasma waves in the planetary magnetosphere. Without a source of this nature, in the right spot and at the right angle, the team determined through modeling that the pitch angle distribution of the electrons would become uniform within mere hours. 
Delving deeper into the Voyager 2 data, the team looked for such a source. Their modeling showed a clear and undeniable maximum in the space between Miranda and Ariel, suggesting a source of energetic ions in that region. As for what could be generating those ions, well, in the 37 years since Voyager 2 visited Uranus, scientists have made some headway in that regard. Voyager 2 made a similar detection in the space around Saturn, discovered many years later in Cassini data, to be generated by icy geysers, on what we now know is an ocean moon, Enceladus. It isn't uncommon that energetic particle measurements are a forerunner to discovering an ocean world, Cohen says. As to which of the moons it is, Miranda, or Ariel, the brightest, that's kind of 5,000, 50 at this point. It could be either or both. Both moons show signs of relatively recent geologic resurfacing, which could be consistent with liquid material erupting from within. But, so far, we only have the one data set. Planetary scientists have been increasingly clamoring for a dedicated mission to Uranus, possibly with Neptune included. The planet has so many weird quirks that learning more about it could only be a genuinely exciting and rewarding experience. The possibility of soggy moons is just icing on the stinky cake. It is currently unknown whether the moons of Saturn, Jupiter, and Uranus harbor life, but they are considered to be some of the most promising places in the solar system for the search for life beyond Earth. Jupiter's moon Europa, for example, is believed to have a subsurface ocean of liquid water beneath its icy surface, and this ocean could potentially harbor life. Saturn's moon Enceladus also has a subsurface ocean and active geysers that release water and organic molecules, making it another promising candidate for the search for life. Uranus' moon Miranda, on the other hand, has a varied terrain and a history of tectonic activity that could suggest a subsurface ocean as well. However, it is important to note that the search for life beyond Earth is still in its early stages, and further exploration and research will be needed to determine whether these moons are capable of supporting life as we know it. And for that reason, and many more, a planned mission to Uranus and Neptune is the need of the hour, but what do I know? Beyond the Blue.